In this video, we'll cover the anatomy of the conjunctiva. We'll start with an overview, highlighting its role in ocular health and its importance. Next, we'll identify the different parts of the conjunctiva, look at the conjunctival glands, and discuss its blood and nerve supply. We'll conclude by summarizing the key anatomical features. The conjunctiva is a translucent mucous membrane that plays a crucial role in ocular health. It lines the inner surfaces of the eyelids and extends anteriorly to cover the white of the eye, known as the sclera, before merging with the corneal epithelium at the limbus and continuing to the skin at the lid's margins. Spanning from the edges of both the upper and lower eyelids to the limbus, it forms a protective barrier that provides lubrication to the eye through the secretion of mucus and tears. This lubrication is essential for maintaining a smooth and clear optical surface, ensuring comfort and optimal visual clarity. Additionally, the conjunctiva contributes to immune surveillance and helps prevent microbial entry into the eye. It is also highly vascularized, supporting its protective and nourishing functions. The palpable conjunctiva is characterized by its reddish color, indicative of a rich vascular network. It is transparent, extremely thin, and has a shiny surface, with a thickness of approximately 0.30 mm. Anatomically, this portion of the conjunctiva is divided into three distinct segments, the marginal conjunctiva, this is narrow, about 2 mm wide, and borders the edge of the eyelids. The tarsal conjunctiva, noted for its pronounced vascularity, which contributes to its distinctive redness, this segment is closely adherent to the tarsal plates of the eyelids. The orbital conjunctiva, featuring more loosely arranged tissue for greater eyelid mobility, this segment is situated over Muller's muscle, a smooth muscle that assists in elevating the eyelid. The appearance of the palpable conjunctiva is not only a reflection of its anatomical structure but also an indicator of systemic health. A pale conjunctiva often signals a reduction in hemoglobin levels, commonly associated with anemia, whereas excessive redness could indicate inflammation or infection. The fornix conjunctiva represents a crucial anatomical structure, forming a continuous, circular cul-de-sac that bridges the gap between the palpable and bulbar conjunctiva. Its loose and flexible nature is essential for the smooth and unrestricted movement of the eyeball and eyelids, facilitating a full range of motion without discomfort or irritation. This segment is anatomically differentiated into four subdivisions, the superior, inferior, lateral, and medial fornices, each contributing to the overall functionality of the ocular conjunctiva. Among these, the medial fornix is notably the shallowest and is the site of the caruncle, a small, pink, globular nodule at the inner corner of the eye that contains sebaceous and sweat glands, and the plica semilunaris, a crescent-shaped fold of conjunctiva that allows for lateral eye movement. The accessibility of the fornix conjunctiva makes it an important site for the administration of ocular medications. The bulbar conjunctiva is thin and translucent, adhering to the underlying eye structures and is divided into two primary parts, the scleral part, spanning from the conjunctival fornix, this region stretches to within approximately 3 mm of the corneal lumbus, forming a protective covering. It lies over the episcleral tissue and tenons capsule, both of which separate the conjunctiva from the sclera. These layers provide structural support and facilitate movement of the eye within the orbit. The limbal conjunctiva encircles the cornea with a conspicuous 3 mm ridge, delineating the transition from the conjunctiva to the corneal epithelium. This circumferential band is not only a physical barrier but also an immunological and regenerative one. It houses limbal stem cells that are vital for the continuous renewal of the corneal epithelium, playing a critical role in ocular surface maintenance and healing. Conjunctival hyperemia, commonly observed as the redness of the eye, occurs due to the local release of inflammatory mediators in conditions such as conjunctivitis. This vascular response increases blood flow to the area, which can result in dilated blood vessels and a reddened appearance. The conjunctival glands are essential for the health of the ocular surface and comprise the accessory lacrimal glands, which secrete the watery component of the tear film. These glands are categorized into two main types, Glands of Wolfring, located at the upper border of the tarsus, near the conjunctival fornix, these glands are less numerous than the glands of Krauser, but they perform a similar function in contributing to the aqueous layer of the tear film. Glands of Krauser, found primarily in the conjunctival fornices, with a greater number located in the superior fornix than in the inferior. These glands are small, branched, asinine structures, abundant in number, and significantly contribute to the aqueous layer of the tear film. 
These represent the serous glands. Meanwhile, the mucin-producing cells, known as goblet cells, are individual mucin-secreting cells dispersed within the conjunctival epithelium. These unicellular glands secrete mucin, which forms the mucous layer of the tear film. This layer is crucial for ocular lubrication, protection, and the removal of debris. Goblet cells are found throughout the conjunctiva but are most abundant in the nasal conjunctiva and less common near the limbus, which is the border of the cornea. The conjunctiva receives its arterial supply from two primary sources, the posterior conjunctival arteries, these are branches of the superior and inferior palpebral arteries, which are, in turn, branches of the ophthalmic artery. Within the eyelids, these arteries contribute to the formation of two arterial arcades. The marginal arcade, located near the lid margin, primarily supplies the eyelid's edge. In contrast, the tarsal arcade, which is situated more peripherally, supplies the majority of the tarsal conjunctiva, the anterior conjunctival arteries, these arise from the anterior ciliary arteries, which are themselves branches of the muscular arteries that also stem from the ophthalmic artery. The anterior conjunctival arteries send branches to the limbal area of the conjunctiva. The anterior and posterior conjunctival arteries interconnect, forming an anastomotic network that creates the pericorneal plexus, which encircles the cornea. The venous drainage of the conjunctiva parallels the arterial supply. Conjunctival veins accompany their corresponding arteries, draining into the palpebral veins or the superior and inferior ophthalmic veins. The posterior conjunctival venous network is primarily drained by the palpebral veins, which subsequently drain into the superior and inferior ophthalmic veins. The anterior conjunctival venous network is drained by the anterior ciliary veins. The lymphatic drainage of the conjunctiva is comprised of two plexuses, a superficial and a deep one. The superficial plexus is found close to the conjunctival epithelium. It is responsible for draining the majority of the conjunctiva's anterior portion. The deep plexus lies beneath the superficial plexus, closer to the sclera, and is tasked with draining the posterior parts of the conjunctiva. The lymphatics from the lateral aspect of the eye predominantly drain into the preauricular lymph nodes, located just in front of the ears, and, to some extent, the parotid lymph nodes, situated within the parotid gland tissue, near the ear. Meanwhile, lymphatics from the medial aspect of the eye generally drain into the submandibular lymph nodes, located underneath the lower jaw. The sensory innervation of the conjunctiva is primarily provided by branches of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve, CNV1. The lacrimal nerve, a branch of the ophthalmic division, innervates the lateral one-third of the upper and lower palpebral conjunctiva and the lateral half of the bulbar conjunctiva. The nasociliary nerve, another branch of the ophthalmic division, supplies sensory innervation to the medial one-third of the upper and lower palpebral conjunctiva and the medial half of the bulbar conjunctiva. The frontal nerve, which is the largest branch of the ophthalmic division, gives off the supraorbital and supratrochlear nerves. These may supply the central part of the superior palpebral conjunctiva. Lastly, the infraorbital nerve, which arises from the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve, CNV2, provides innervation to the central part of the inferior palpebral conjunctiva through its palpebral branches. In summary, the conjunctiva is a mucous membrane richly supplied with blood vessels, covering the front of the eyeball, and lining the inner surfaces of the eyelids. It plays a pivotal role in secreting mucus to ensure the stability of the tear film and maintain corneal transparency. Additionally, the conjunctiva has a significant defensive function. It houses numerous immunocompet cells that are capable of initiating and mediating inflammatory responses, which are essential for ocular immunity.